dears and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos when I can. So today's video is kind of like part two as to what is in my makeup like travel bag or what makeup I travel with when I go out and about out of the house, I should say, when I leave the house for like a weekend or so. And this is this is what I usually pack. So the first video I think I uploaded was everything that was just in my bag. Uh, I try to keep that, or I think I will keep that, you know, speaking from the past. I will try to keep that video short and sweet, and then I want to upload this one right after because I wanted to show you what everything looked like. Like, this this makeup look is, is classic, yet, like, timeless, you know? Like, it's just, it's so good as a go-to and it's one that I can do in 15 minutes. Now I know this video is going to be way longer than 15 minutes because I'm explaining everything, um, but I will cut it as much as I can so that it's like, you know, enjoyable. But I absolutely love doing this makeup. I, I'm pretty sure I've done this routine multiple times on this channel because it's just my go-to. You know what? I like watching that in other, you know, makeup beauty channels. I love watching consistency with certain products because it makes me think like they really like that product like they weren't just bullshitting me <laughs> you know what I'm talking about they weren't just like you know saying oh I love this product and that I would never see it again because we're so saturated and we buy so much and you know which there's nothing wrong with that but when you see the same products over and over and over again and some of your favorite like you know beauty youtubers like you can genuinely like see that those are their favorites and, and these are these are some products that I, I use all the time on this channel and I wholeheartedly love and they're just the ones that created this look and travel with me anytime I go somewhere. So that's it. That's all the babbling I've got to do. So let's just get right into this. Yes. Okay. So I've already washed and moisturized my face. So let's start with primer. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. wait. Let's start with eyebrows. Yeah. I'm going to go in with the instant brow lift uh, pencil by e.l.f. I have mine in the shade deep brown and it is a brand spanking new one. Oh, that's always so satisfying when you use a brand new like brow pencil. Oof. Yes. No matter how many different brow pencils I've used in my life, I feel like I always come back to this one because it's just so easy, like so easy to fill in my brows and just done. <laughs> I love this brow pencil. So now that so I've got my eyebrows on, I'm going to go ahead and prime. I'm going to use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer first. This is the hydrating one. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of the e.l.f. Putty Primer in my T-zone or like the more porous areas. For concealer, I'm going to use the ABH uh, Magic Touch Concealer. I have mine in the shade 8 and I am going to apply this before I go in with my powder foundation today. I love this concealer. It is such a good formula. I, th I think once I'm done with this tube, I'm definitely repurchasing this. It is just so great. So I'm going to apply that in the usual places where I would apply my concealer. Then I'm going to take my sponge and blend things out. And it's so creamy and lightweight. Look at that, it just blended right into the skin. It's so wonderful. And because I am extra, I am gonna dot just a little bit more of this concealer. Right here, I have the most darkness specifically on this eye, but whatever you do to one side of the equation, folks, you gotta do to the other. I'm just gonna let it sit for like a split second. I don't want it to sit for too long. And then I'm gonna take this concealer brush. This one is from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to sort of tap this out and kind of blend it. I use a sponge in the beginning just because I want to not over apply the product. I want to make sure that there is enough, but not like 
too much or it's like cakey or whatever but I just want to use but I do like using the concealer brush for afterwards to sort of tap in that product and not so much you know get rid of it like the sponge would. I am going to take my sponge and I'm just going to tap out these areas here to make sure everything is nice and seamless. I don't want any like weird discolorations or marks. I am going to avoid the under eye area because I don't want the sponge picking up any more product. I'm kind of just blending things out. That shade is beautiful, by the way. It's like such a perfect shade. I'm, I'm always so stunned every time I put it on. I don't, I don't know why. I guess it continues to surprise me, which is, which is a good thing. For my under eye, I am gonna go into this Charlotte Tilbury palette. This is the Instant Look of Love in a Palette in Pretty Blushed Beauty. I'm pretty sure that's the shade. And I'm going to take this translucent uh, face or setting powder on like a little fluffy brush. And I'm going to take that and set the under eyes ever so gently. I just want a little bit of setting powder here so that my powder foundation doesn't um, deepen this up. And this setting powder is perfect for those areas. It doesn't really change the color of my concealer and it sets the makeup beautifully. All right, for foundation, I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Uh, Camo Powder Foundation. I have mine in the shade Light 210N, the most perfect match. And I'm gonna take um, this Makeup Geek Face Buffing Brush. I love this brush to apply any powder foundation. I'm just gonna gently tap into that. Look at how much it picks up. Ooh. And then I'm just going to start buffing this powder into the skin. And I like to do this in circular motions. And I also try to avoid the under eye area. We already applied powder there and we honestly don't need any more powder there. So we don't want to look too dry. Not that this powder dries your skin. It literally just melts in and makes you look airbrushed to perfection. I love this powder foundation if you are looking to try a powder foundation and you have dry skin, such as myself, I totally 1000% recommend using this one. It literally melts right into the skin. Like you will not see any crepiness or heaviness using this. And no matter how many layers you apply, it still continues to look like skin. It's kind of some sort of witchcraft. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of crazy. And you could still see that my skin looks like skin. I, I didn't use any illuminating primer. I have a hydrating primer and then the putty primer, but the skin still looks like skin. And it's not a full coverage product, so you could still see my freckles and some of my imperfections, but it just makes you look so smooth. Like, oh, it's such a good foundation. And I think it's like less than 15 bucks. Like maybe 11, I can't remember, 11, 12 dollars, something like that, but it just looks so flawless and I am always blown away every time I use this foundation. Like look at how how beautiful the face and like looks. And the best part is there's no more setting that needs to be done. I don't need to powder this. Like it's literally like perfection and it's the best to travel with because if you are traveling and you still want to wear your mask just for extra protection the transfer on the mask is also super duper minimal so i love this powder foundation it is the most perfect foundation to travel with in my opinion right, i'm gonna go into my bronzer now and i'm gonna go into these the, i'm gonna go into this hourglass uh, ambient palette i'm gonna use the bronzer in this palette i love this bronzer so much. I'm considering purchasing it just on its own because I love how it looks on the skin. It's very like luminous, but not glittery or chunky. And it's like the most perfect undertone for me. I'm starting to like bronzers with a little bit more of a red undertone just because it looks more like a legit sunburn than it does like you know, a contour or chiseled cheek. And don't get me wrong, I love carving out my cheeks with my bronzer, but I do like it when the bronzer looks like uh, I got sunburned. So 
That's my goal every time I do my bronzer. Using the same little brush that I used to set my under eyes, I'm going to use a little bit of this uh, setting powder here. I'm just going to pick up some of that on the brush and I'm just going to lightly dust this right underneath where I applied my bronzer to sort of not carve it out necessarily, but sort of clean things up. I'm also going to take that powder and powder a little bit up here. Not that I need any more powder, but I do love the finish of this. It's a little bit more on the natural, like glowy side. And I love just using a little bit of this powder so that I don't look so matte or flat. For blush, I want to use the blush in this palette as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix the two and I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and literally just boop, 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 boop right into both of them. Sometimes I love mixing them. I think it gives a really, really pretty unique shade or sometimes I go in with one or the other. So depending on how I feel. And I love the formula of these blushes because again, they're just like this beautiful, radiant, like natural glow from within look that I just love so much. Highlight, we are going to jump over to the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. I love the highlighter in this palette. Like, I've considered purchasing just a uh, standalone highlighter from Natasha Denona if all of them are like this formula because this is the most beautiful highlighter. It is buttery and smooth and it's not chunky or glittery and it just, it looks Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful and I love using this highlighter like literally all over my face. Like, do you see that? Like, oh gosh, it's so pretty and you need the tiniest bit. I'm literally just tapping my brush into this and highlighting the areas of my face that I like to highlight and it just looks so stunning it's so smooth like oh gosh it's so perfect now that everything on my face is complete i am going to set it i do like to put on my uh, setting spray before i do my eye makeup that's just who i am and that's how i've been doing this for so long but i'm gonna go ahead and set everything it's gonna melt it's gonna look even more beautiful i'm gonna zoom you in so you could see the skin up close and personal with all these powder products and how gorgeous everything looks so here goes nothing And yes, I spray a lot. Okay, don't judge me. While everything is still a little bit damp, I'm going to go in with my brow gel. This is the one from Merit Beauty. I've been really into this. I like this brow gel because it seems like it's going to be kind of a wet formula. And at first I wasn't a huge, huge fan of this little guy. But um, what I noticed is you've got to go in with like another layer. Like you have to start off pretty light like that kind of let them sit or set for like a minute and then go back in and do one more pass and that's when i've noticed that um, i'll clean that up don't worry and that's when i've noticed that it stays really really well in place and it really does give you that like 80s brow look that I love so much. Okay, like so here is a close-up of the skin. Everything looks really, really pretty, smooth, hydrated looking, even though I used a powder foundation and a ton of powder products. Like if you know me, you know that I love cream everything, but when I travel, it just is a little bit more realistic to just use a ton of powder products. That way I'm not carrying creams and powders. I try to limit as much as I carry, obviously. I'm a mom and you know, like moms, packing is like insane. Like we pack all of our stuff plus the kids stuff, so. I minimize the amount of packing I have to do, but I still want to take my makeup. I still want to feel and look pretty, uh, you know, on my trips and stuff like that. And I still want to devote like my good 15 minutes to my makeup routine. So I know that this is going to be a longer video because I'm explaining everything. But usually when I do this in real life, it, it's like a 10, 15 minute, you know, application. But this is what everything is looking like. I'm loving the skin. Look at that highlighter. It's so beautiful. So let's jump into the eyes, shall we? I'm gonna start with the Rare Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. I love this eyeshadow primer. It's definitely 
one that I can see myself committing to for forever. It's easy, it's got a cute little doe foot applicator, it does what it needs to do, and it has a pretty decent pigmentation. I do wish that they would come out with this in various shades, just because this shade isn't going to fit everybody. So I, I do wish in the future that they would come out with uh, different shades. I'm gonna go ahead and tap that in and blend things out. All right, so naturally for eyeshadow, I am going to be using the Natasha Denona Glam uh, Face Palette. It's just so easy to use. Sometimes I'll go in with every shade. Sometimes I don't use every shade when I'm on vacation and stuff, but this is just perfect for traveling. Like I even use like the mirror and everything because of how easy, how lightweight this palette actually is and how easy it is to hold and it just never ceases to amaze me how much I love this palette. So I'm going to start with the transition shade and I am OCD and strange and guess what? I'm going to put this as my transition shade because it says to do that. Now I know that you don't have to follow those rules, but I find it easy to just follow the guideline because honestly, when I am using this palette, I am... I already know what my look is going to be like. I don't experiment and place shadows in, you know, different areas or whatever. I will interchange the inner corner highlight every now and then, but that's as creative or as crazy as I get. I just want to look pretty and have a pretty eyeshadow look, and this palette guarantees it every single time. I don't feel like I should explain anything else that I'm doing because I am just going to follow the guideline, like I said, as um, this palette is laid out. Like you have inner corner, transition, crease, outer corner, and smoke. And that's how I'm going to use it. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed right through this. I'll just point to the shadows before I apply them to my eyes. ColourPop um, colored sticks in the shade Fave Things. It's a wonderful brightener. I love using this in the waterline. It's so creamy and it lasts forever. Mascara, of course, I'm going to go in with my AOA Skinny Mascara. I'm going to do that on the lower lash line. Then for the top lashes, my favorite mascara, the Rare Beauty Mascara. Last but not least, NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Butterscotch is the absolute best. That's all I could say about it. It is a perfect My Lips But Better color. And it's comfortable and it does the trick. Here is the final look. Everything is exactly how I want it to look. Like I said, this is like my travel out and about kind of makeup. It's comfortable, it's beautiful. My face won't feel sticky or get sticky or anything like that. The makeup will last all day. Like it is guaranteed because of the fact that I went in with a powder foundation versus, you know, regular foundation or like a liquid foundation. But this is just my ideal travel makeup like it's it's 
soft glam, you know, and, and you got to love that soft glam look like you're always going to look so pretty and so put together and it just makes me feel good. Okay. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. And that's all I've got for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, everything that is inside of my travel bag. I love traveling with this makeup. This is my, my foolproof. I won't leave the house without this if I want to do my makeup on a trip. Now there are some times when I go on vacation or I've gone on these little like weekend stays, um, you know, with my family and one out of two or three of the days are the ones that I wear makeup. The other I don't really want to because I'm just so tired by then, which does anybody else do that? Like, do you travel with all of your makeup and then pick like, you know, half the time to actually put on the makeup or, or am I just the only one who does that? Like, let me know. Let me know. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and spread my love for makeup, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye.